Malastari here, and let's get to the point. First warning, I'm using a sample template. If you're using a new one, I'll get to that later, but I cannot guarantee that this method will work. Go to the cogwheel, that's the system. Go and call a common event, and click and drag it to your scene content. The reason I'm not doing input text, which is at your message, is because input text does not always work. It's very iffy. Call common event has always worked for me though, so I suggest using that. When you're using your call common event, go ahead and click on this and make sure it's set to input text one. Well, you're only going to have input text, so don't worry about the other ones yet. Make sure the letters are more than zero. And then if you want them to confirm that they have typed their name correctly, you're going to do the shift bracket GT and colon three. You can also do the second one, but that's unnecessary. That's basically if you're using an extension of common events and whatnot. If you're using a sample version, you don't have anything to worry about though. Now, if you want to give the player the ability to name multiple characters, you're going to go to your records. You're going to go to common events and go ahead and just open your input text. However, many characters you'd like to be nameable by the player. That's how many input text you're going to have. So go ahead and copy and paste that to however many characters there are. Now, my info text one, that is my protagonist. Scroll all the way down. This right here, that's the switch. Click on it. Basically, when they name the protagonist, that information is going to be put here. And that is why we put the GT colon three. If you want a second character, go to another input text, name it second character or whatever. Scroll all the way down, change the switch to something else. Otherwise you are replacing this name with something else. Go ahead and use a switch that you are not using. For me, I just put text result two. Third character is the same thing. If it's a sidekick, they're going to be at switch five. So the switches I'm using for names are three, four, and five. So here, let's say that this is character one. We've already set that information up and now we're going to test it. I've already included input text, but keep in mind, it doesn't always work. Just don't use it, but I'm going to show it anyway. This is my protagonist. That's my second character. And this is my third character. So let's go ahead and try it now. So this is character one. We'll name it A. This is B. This is C. And this is the one that doesn't always work. This is the one that doesn't always work. I actually forgot to mess with the order. That's character A, so that's working fine. This is B, that's working fine as well. That is C. So the only one that didn't work was the input text, which I've already put right here. But yeah, that, that's basically it. For those who are using a completely new slate, I can't guarantee this is going to work, but you're going to make an extension out of the sample. Go ahead and open it up. Go to tools, developer tools, create an extension. You want to import all the common events. I would suggest importing the scene just in case. So you're going to add that. I would suggest going to your database and your common events. Or if you want, just import the whole database just in case. You can even import anything you want. And once you're ready, just create it. And then what you're going to do is go to tools again, extension manager, and you're going to install whatever that is. Uh, I just named mine its extension shit. Go here. It'll be a zip format, so open it up. Mine's already in here, so I don't have to do it. And basically what that does is import the settings of the sample to your new slate. Keep in mind, I don't know if it'll work, but it's better than nothing. Because you can't have more than one project open at a time. You can't import settings from one to another unless you do it this way. And then maybe from there you can do what I've done and hopefully it works. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hope it helped you. And good luck with your shit. Bye-bye.